the next one we'll be playing is um, Symphony Number no. 1, and Daniel Buckfitch writes of this about this piece. On the night of February 13, 1945, Allied forces firebombed the undefended German city of Dresden. Swollen by the flow of refugees fleeing the advancing Russian army, the almost twice as normal population, the firestorm killed approximately 150,000 men, women, and children. And he writes this about the four movements. The first movement establishes a mood of impending disaster and presents the thematic material upon which the rest of the piece is based. It's like a slow motion during the course of this, this very short movement, you hear the chord that the entire piece is based on. It's really, really quite a remarkable movement, I think. The second movement, and these movements go continuous, there's not a break between the movements, seeds in the wind. The title of this movement refers to the method of seeding the bomb target with jelly, gasoline, and incendiaries. The movement portrays the fury of the bombing attack. The third movement, the material in this movement, reflects upon the religious and artistic heritage of Dresden and becomes a prayer for the victims of the attack. The fourth movement, the sounds of the firestorm are recreated. Musically, the last movement serves as a resolution, a resolution excuse me, to the tension built up in the previous three movements. Um, this music is so odd that it comes with instructions on how to do it. The notation is different. We will do things you may not have ever heard a band do. Um, I think it's remarkably effective. This next piece which I'll introduce now um, is by Bach, and the translation, you have the German translation, it translates as, in English, Come Sweet Death. So we have these two pieces that deal with a very similar subject, I can imagine two pieces that are more dissimilar in how they deal with it. So I'm not sure I'm going to say I hope you enjoy these pieces, but I hope you find them moving and thought-provoking and all those things. So here's Symphony Number 1 by Daniel Buckwich.